Once I secured my spot to get tattooed by the great Oliver Peck, I had to choose what tattoo I wanted, and it came down to a Captain Spaulding head or a Grim Reaper with Creeping Death underneath, a Metallica reference. And I wasn't sure which one I wanted, so which one did I get? It was a beautiful day to take the hour to hour and a half drive from Sacramento to Oroville for the Feather Falls Tattoo Expo 2021. So how did I get so lucky to get tattooed by a legend? Well, he made the announcement about a week ago that he was going to be there and he said to email him if you wanted to set up an appointment. And so I emailed him and they had an open slot on Friday, the first day at 4 p.m. And I had to send a $100 PayPal advance, and that went towards the cost of the tattoo, and then pay the rest in cash when I got there. And how much was that? None of your beeswax. I was 100% torn in which tattoo I should get. I really wanted the Captain Spaulding, and I really wanted the Reaper, and so I went on Instagram and YouTube and I put up some polls to see what people thought I should get. Not that I would, just because one or the other one, but the overwhelming winner was the Grim Reaper. I think it was because most people just don't know who Captain Spaulding is and just how awesome he is, was. Rest in peace, Sid Haig. When it came down to it, Captain Spaulding was my number one choice, and that's what I went in there thinking I was going to get, but what happened? Take a look at my shirt first. Okay, I finally made it to Oroville. Now it's time to go inside and get tattooed by Oliver Peck. Let's see how it goes. I'm not even sure which one I'm going to get, the Grim Reaper or Captain Spaulding, so we will soon find out. I emailed Oliver's assistant a few days before and showed him that I wanted the Captain Spaulding tattoo and I didn't hear anything back so I just assumed it was going to be okay and when I got there um, Oliver's girlfriend was working at the booth also and I, I showed her the, what I wanted. She said that he was only doing American traditional tattoos and so that, that made it easy. It was the Grim Reaper which I had no problem with because I liked both designs. I'll just get the Captain Spaulding later on this year when my normal tattoo guy goes back to work after back surgery. Here he is drawing it out by hand. He didn't trace it, he drew it. I was very impressed. I did ask his permission to take some video and he had no problem with it whatsoever. So that was pretty cool. At one point, him and his girlfriend left the booth for a couple minutes, and I was the only one sitting there. And this lady walked up to me and goes, excuse me. And I was like, huh? She goes, excuse me. And I was like, what? And she's like, she showed me a tattoo design. And she goes, how much for this? And I go, no, 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 no. I, I don't work here. I'm just, I'm getting tattooed. She goes, oh, sorry. So here I am just filming some various scenes from the tattoo convention. Here was the final design. I was very happy with it. A few more minutes passed and then it was time to get to work. This was my 69th tattoo that I have. You ready? Yes, sir. Thank you. 
Where are you from, man? Uh... Man. It looks amazing, man. Thank you. So that was it. It was the least painful tattoo I've ever had. And Oliver is super nice and super cool. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Check out some of my older videos. And... That's going to do it. Bye for now.